here you have found a laptop. Looks like you Why don't we have we have the um we have those Yahoo Answers things that are not loss related still. Oh yeah, yeah. it's open if, if uh We should read one of those. Which yeah, ones okay. do you have? Keith? I have the um I'll I'll read I'll have I'll just read this one because it's so short. Okay. Um how do I make my son into a super soldier? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my son is two years old right now, and I want him to be a super soldier. All I need to know is, where do I start? And, oh. then, and then the best answer, it starts off with, ooh, such a cool father. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, not crazy. Not crazy. Um, it's really worth reading the whole of that yeah, answer. Yeah, 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 I'm going to. Good. Uh, Hold on. Pretend uh, wanna... I wasn't just here for a second. What sure. are we talking about? This is a Yahoo answer that they found. Uh, I think that's specifically Austin found, right? Uh, yeah, Bleeding Heart in the chat, and I found this the other day. Okay. This is a, how do I make my son into a super soldier? Okay, so my son is two years <laughs> old right now, and I want him to be a super soldier. All I need to know is, where do I start? And then wow. the best answer is, ooh, such a cool father. Okay, so, okay, cool. Being that I used to train units in the military, although I'm South African, so it's actually a bigger thing than American training. <laughs> South Africans cha train units for five years and Americans for two, two for two. Weak ass Americans. Okay, it's mainly about endurance. So forget both camp. Try, try make your both son interested camp. in running uh, without shoes. Makes their feet harder. Also, <laughs> swimming, which will increase his lung capacity and overall fitness. By the way, I think this is the only time that lung capacity has been referenced in, re uh, uh, in reference to a two-year-old. Uh, <laughs> then for the actual training. Also, focus on endurance for this as well. Try and work your son up to 500 sit-ups and push-ups before he reaches age seven. They do not alter his height negatively like weightlifting. Tablets. <laughs> Every exclamation sleeps, point. Give him, tablets, yeah, exclamation tablets. point. <laughs> Every night before he sleeps, give him iron tablets, repairs the body. The Bruise answer. yeast, Remember helps keep him alert. A vitamin K, prevents bruising. Head. Prevents bruising. <laughs> a glass of milk, <laughs> everything a baby horse needs to become massive. If you does this guy think he's talking about a horse? What? <laughs> this is a baby. Like, well, human. obviously he does meet his real son. He must be asking how to make a super slow soldier out of his horse. Right? <laughs> and if you think if you think it's okay, zinc promotes testosterone production, may cause an early sexual development. Wait, all right, time out really quick. I just want to make a specific point. I just realized it, at that point he says, "If you think it's okay." So for just keep this in mind, he says, "If yeah, you think it's okay, this zinc." Guy, yeah, this zinc is, thing, zinc is even a, a little bit too okay. far for this guy. Right, but keep going. <laughs> this is why this is important. Then also buy scouts, uh, scouts emulation so he grows yeah. tall. I don't know what that is. Neither. Uh, what you must do, what you must track, his heart rate at rest and during training. Buy a heart rate monitor so he can wear while he sleeps for rest setting. Anything below 70 is superhuman. My, my personal heart rate is 64. So it, wait, I don't think that's true. <laughs> I don't think it's true either. That's totally not true. Wait, like I know that I, I remember like because because my heart rate is like 64 and I'm not particularly fit at all. Or superhuman. Or superhuman. I know, like I, I know like all the people that like are into crazy like climbing up Everest and stuff have like heart rates around like 34. Yeah, like 30, like 30 and 4, like Lance Armstrong at a point had like 38 or something, and that was considered insane. Right. Uh, anything anyway, below 70? That's so, that's so wrong. Yeah. yeah. That's the part of this that's wrong. <laughs> continue. Okay. Uh, so when his, heart, when, his, when his heart rate should be always under 100, always, always under 100, try and make that a Hold goal. Hold on. Yeah? Wait. Is it possible that he means superhuman for a young child and young children have super fast heartbeats because they're growing? No, because this guy's heart rate is 64. No, this guy's, I think average, I think average is like 75. Yeah, I just did a search and on Wikipedia, resting, resting yeah, resting heart, heart rate, poor is 82 and up. So, for like all yeah. men of all ages. So he must mean, he must mean something else. Or yeah, is an idiot. Back. He could be an idiot also. I don't know. He's from South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything both said? Okay. So then monitor his urine production. How I'll leave, how I'll leave that up to you. Try and make uh -huh. it your goal 
for him to produce uh, 25 liters of urine a day. <laughs> this is how you drive what? so much blood he produces. <laughs> the more fast he heals and absorbs nutrition, also the more oxygen his blood can hold. Then also record his appetite, what he, what he eats and how much. Don't force him to eat anything which can lead to a proper craving cure. Let him choice when he's hungry. <laughs> this is important because without a craving cure, the body can tell exactly what it needs and only what it, and only what it needs to work at its best. The last advice I, is both muscular and adaptation. First of all, you want his body to stay moderately flexible. Too, too flexible is damaging because his body weight will cause his bones to break. So moderately flexible. You can do this by shower exercises. This involves putting him, <laughs> putting his back flat, uh, flat to a all, oh, flat to a wall, and pushing his pelvis out. Then filling his lungs with air and holding his breath. Then while the water's on the, then while the water's on against the wall behind him, he should, with his back back flat, go up onto his tiptoes so that he's standing on the front of his feet and then from there go down to a squat. Do this till it hurts. Then start counting from there to 30. Increase by 20 each time. This will fortify his bone structure. Then also lift weights with his bent elbows above his head then lower the weight behind the back. This straightens the back. The his last two year old son. His two-year-old son, yes. Great. The last two things. By the way, this was chosen as the best answer. Uh, right, this guy should... By how many voters? No, the, 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 the person who asked the question chose this. He goes, yeah, this is the answer. This is it. It says, Asker's rating, five stars. Thanks, Dave. I'll make sure I have all this written down, and thanks for your help. That's, okay, this is the last, uh, these are the last two things. Conditioning. Look up o Okinawa conditioning. Okay, where you now, uh, flog I, I your think. body all over in order to bruise it. Uh, do this, do yeah. this even on Wait. the bone every three days. Yeah, go over that one more time. Start this, start this over. This paragraph. Where Wait. you flog... Wait, long question. Yeah? Yeah. When was this? Four weeks ago. Oh, damn it. I was hoping it was at least two years ago so we could know how it's going. <laughs> <laughs> Can, okay. Uh, where you flog your body all over in order to bruise it. Do this on e on the even on the bone every three days. Only let your son hit himself in a way that he is comfortable oh, with. Oh man! It also teaches him. It also teaches him how to take and give a beating in a way that doesn't harm him. Use a <laughs> tempestuous use a tempestuous object. It's a heavy, rough object that is hard to hold. Too big for the hand to hold for long. This object should be about open hand size so that it can strike and be striked. The last is to make a leather suit filled with lead Lead added. You can Google <laughs> how to make a liquid leather, morning glory, and rubber try sap along with tire leather powder, some milk textiles. He Such can cool aid in this mixture, then cut <laughs> areas for zips once it dries. Then you have a bulletproof suit that heavy and conducts heat away from you. The weight in the suit will train him to get used to lifting more. Okay, so after hope he's, this helps. Dave out. <laughs> so after he's done flogging himself, put him in a bath of liquid leather until it solidifies around him and then cut out areas for zippers. This guy is going to be the best dad. That was insane. You know, he's, he's uh, insane. Okay, I got to go make a work call. <laughs> it's you. Kyle out. Uh, this guy, Dave, signs every single question. Dave out. And it's pretty great. Yeah, that Kyle was out. Dave. Kyle out. Exactly. Dave out. Guys, I found some coconuts and stuff. Nice. How Did you get that Are gun you before? Game right now? I'm still, I'm still playing this. Why? Wow, what? I thought this was a podcast where we read crazy stuff on the internet. That's basically it. Yeah. I'm finding a bunch of examples of the numbers: four, eight, fifteen, etc. Although I feel good, I feel good uh, about these Yahoo answers in that they're they're way longer and more in depth than anything uh, your your friends over at my brother, my brother and me would get. Yeah, into. I think it's a different. Yeah, it's true. We're this is a, a totally this is a different we're in animal, different sure. territory. Right. I think. Yeah. Um, we're also not offering our own help. 
No, no, no. Wait, no we're we... not looking to help these fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not. I'm not gonna go tell this guy how to turn his son into a Spartan <laughs> four. <laughs> if anything, I'd like to hurt these people. Is there a number we yeah, can call yeah. to report I'll... them? I like that. Uh, Ry Rybidol before he left said, "Okay, all. It's certainly been well something." <laughs> That's probably the best way to describe any th- any of these streams. I think yeah, it's been pretty we, good. Yeah, we've done our work. That's what that means. I like how, like, uh, have either of you guys read um, Dostoevsky's uh, Notes from the Underground? I yes, love that book. I have. Yeah, uh, this guy, the, the the superhero one, I think yeah. it starts off a lot like Notes from the Underground starts <laughs> off. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, just so self-loathing, but... It is. Yeah, like... I know what you're thinking. What a stupid question. What's wrong with this guy? Like it's I want to just... be clear, Keith, you're the only human ever to have said, this <laughs> Yahoo answer reminds me of that Dostoevsky book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's a, by the way, that's a great book. If, anybody, it's real good. if anybody's never yeah. read it, it's really good. Yeah. Also, uh, The All... Crocodile is, is another good Dostoevsky. <laughs> also, Crime and Punishment. Crime, yeah. I've never read Crime and Punishment. You should read it's Crime good. and Punishment. It's really yeah. Good. I have a specific version of Notes from Underground that I like. I'm not going to get into this, but the point is, I'm a huge fucking nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Which which version? Uh, it's the most recent translation in which they they translated Notes from Underground instead of Notes from the Underground. I think that's um, the one it, I have as well. Oh yeah, it's I have a really both. great yeah, cover, and, and the they one. they capture his snark really well and his his kind of the humor in his voice really it's well. Better, I think that's you think important. It's a better translation. I like the translation. Yeah, and that's the text. interesting thing about Dostoevsky, as long as we're talking about nerd shit. Um, yeah. Right. Is there have been a lot of different translations of Dostoevsky, and some of them are significantly better than others. Yeah, yeah. Like, I like one that I just, have. They're super dry, and, like, I, I get the point for that. I get, like, sometimes you, you want to be dry and serious, but other times, like, yeah. you do want to capture the fact that this dude is funny as hell. And, you know, it's, it's I really so hope Kyle so comes funny. back and we're still talking about Dostoevsky. He will be did, super um, confused. I, I, I bet Kyle has a lot of great opinions about Dostoevsky. Just kidding, because Kyle's an idiot. I did the oh. first, I did the first <laughs> two pages of Notes uh, Notes from the Underground uh, for, Sorry, as a Kyle. monologue for an acting class, and oh, it was, nice. like, just so much fun. Oh, it was yeah. so much fun to just like, like, to to get to say words that angrily. Yeah, that's ah, oh, it's great. It's hold uh, on, wait, I'll be right back. That's why Kyle oh, doesn't man, read just you and me Dostoevsky. Now. He's just Kyle doesn't need to read Dostoevsky. He's just always as angry as the narrator from Notes from the Underground. So, I got, I'm using a compass. Oh, so this really is Miasmata esque. I, are you sure? I sure. Mean, I think that's giving it a lot of credit, but... Wait, why are you loading your last checkpoint? I had to... I got lost, so I, I got too far off the path, so they're like, do you want to go back to oh, that the was. Cart? I thought that was you going into a pause menu no, and saying... that was the game saying, hey, you're, you're lost. <laughs> and you know what? In this case, the game was right. God. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Video Can I see game. if there's any other? This is a video game. This oh. is a video game. Sorry. Welcome I went back. to go find my copy so that I could so that I could Confirm read my favorite or... part, but I couldn't find it. Uh. <laughs> that would that would have been the greatest. Like, uh, this is the stream where we read shitty, crazy Yahoo Answers questions and Dostoevsky. And Dostoevsky, that, yeah. That's what we do on the stream. And yeah. again, if Kyle had come back in the middle and thought he was reading a Yahoo Answer. You're right, that's uh, worth it. I'm going back. If he came back in the middle of that, we're just like, no, this is from Yahoo. We're still on this Yahoo. Is, yeah, this is Yahoo Answers. Don't worry no, about I that. just came back after it and you got you guys uh, damn excitedly it. talking about something and I don't know what you're talking about. That's uh, fine. Don't worry about it. Well, I am worried about it. I'm very, very worried about it. Hey, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, Infested Chris wants to make sure you know that you're getting shot at. Did you notice yeah, that Yeah, I, I shot? know that I'm getting shot at. There's not much I can do because I have a gun, but I don't have any bullets. Hmm. Oh, here we go. This is the one I missed last time. Load your gun with your coconuts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what they did on Gilligan's Island. There it is. <laughs> Spiked it. There's a, there's a Gilligan's Island game, right? That exists. God, I hope not. I'm pretty sure it does. What would you do in that game? I'm this. pretty sure it's bad. 
Okay. There's a I board have, game. I must have left it at my girlfriend's house or something because I can't find it. Kyle's back anyway. Oh. Also, did you bring it over to your girlfriend's house to do some sweet Dostoevsky reading? Is that really yeah, get, yeah. get her in the mood? Uh, no, <laughs> that, that Kyle. That, what are no, your it's feelings only, on? Kyle. It's not for her. It's for me. It's the only way I can get hard. <laughs> is, is, to, is to read at least six pages of Dostoevsky to her, and if she blinks, I have to start over. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, what are your feelings on Dostoevsky? Let's go. My feelings are that, and I don't want to to tell you how I know this, but apparently the slogan for Dunkin' Brands, as in Dunkin' Donuts, is "Eat, Drink, Think." Well, and I'm not sure where they got the think part of that trifecta. <laughs> I think Dostoevsky, I'm pretty sure that was a motto of his that they Clumsy, really adopted. Clumsy Agent points out, yes, there is a Gilligan's Island game. It is for NES, and it's terrible. And Infested Chris oh, tells me I thought I you were wrong. you meant like PS2 era. No, no, no. That, that would be awesome, though. That would be pretty yeah. great. We should, get, we should get Telltale to make a Gilligan's Island game. <laughs> Is that in our power? Can we start a Kickstarter? <laughs> start a Kickstarter in Telltale's name? Yeah. And see how fast they shut it how, down. How expensive could the Gilligan's Island license be at this point? They're not doing anything with it. There's probably Ooh. There's got to be a gritty Gilligan's Island right? reboot in the works somewhere, right? Oh. There, there has probably been a Gilligan's Island reboot in the works perpetually since the last thing that was Gilligan's Island. Yes. <laughs> that sounds right. Oh, okay. So I found, I found a, a, just a PDF version bringing it back to Dostoevsky, obviously. Um, it just, like, I think it's my favorite part because as someone who writes a lot, I felt this exact same feeling, but but followed through with my uh, instinct. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, I did not take bribes, you see. I was so bound to find recompense in that, at least. A poor jest, but I will not scratch it out. I wrote it thinking I would sound very witty, but now I have seen myself that I only wanted to show off in a despicable way. I will not scratch it out on purpose. Oh, that's super good. I love it. Oh, he's great. He's At the so beginning, he's talking about not taking bribes because he was a he's, he's a video games journalist, right? That's yeah. the yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. accurate. <laughs> and there was there was a publisher who got his clanking. start writing about video games. Yes, there was there was yeah. some publisher Wait. who stopped clanking some like DLC sword. <laughs> where where did the us talking about video game writing come in? Oh, there's oh I don't think I don't know where that started. Oh, uh, the, he's, that Dostoevsky quote starts with him saying he doesn't want to take a bribe. And I was saying, oh. yeah, just, you know, for his writing. And I yes, was comparing uh, that to internet conspiracy theories that think that all video games writing is money hacking. Yeah, theories, right? I just, uh, you I guys hear that? You guys service, hear but that? I, uh, I was a spiteful official. I was rude and took pleasure in being so. This is happening I did not right take now. bribes, you see. And so I was bound to find recompense God. in that, at least. Oh, uh, you guys, this is the worst. Did you guys did you guys see that that article about the um, colonial alien uh, colonial or sorry aliens, aliens colonial, colonial marines? marines. Are you, is um is hold, uh, hold on, you're talking about gaming blend, right? Yeah, that thing. Oh, I haven't. What's, did what's you up? wait? Say what happened? Yeah, Phil. let's let's explain what the article is. Wait, wait, wait Phil, Phil. Oh, I do have some did, gun, some bullets. Sorry, what? Do you list have do you or have you listened to our podcast ever? Uh I've listened to the episodes you put up on on YouTube sometimes. Yeah, those are the only All ones right. that we did have. You, did you ever hear us talking about like the or we did the thing where we just read the whole article about a guy complaining about or the European oh, never writer mind. thing? Anyways, Keith, do you remember the time that yes. we talked about um, <laughs> what the, is the the game? <laughs> do you remember the time? Do you remember the time that we talked about Shit. like the game blog that cited Total Biscuit, where he where like yeah. he was reporting that Total Biscuit was saying that games journalism is an irredeemable oh. mess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the episode title the, an irredeemable mess. I think. Yeah, the episode title was an irredeemable mess. That guy came back with a vengeance. To talk about alien colonial marines. Oh, so Seriously? it's that same guy. Oh, yeah, no way. like I, I, I wish I could tell you that I had not encountered Gaming Blend before, but unfortunately, 
So, so what was this, this article? This guy wrote an article on Gaming Blend where he basically said that IGN and other gaming media are to blame for Aliens oh. Colonial Marines being bad. What is this guy's weird thing? Um, was yeah, he, was that, did, wait, was that another quote from Total Biscuit? <laughs> I did see other people pointing out that um, that apparently this guy has said this kind of, like, has done articles about this same subject before, so I'm not surprised to hear that. This guy who you're talking to, whose name I can't remember, has the worst hair. <laughs> Look at his hair, the way it floats back and forth. Yep. I like it oh, looks is like that, uh... I just like the, are you an other? It looks like two limp Brillo pads falling off his head. <laughs> That's uh, what's that guy's name? Oh God. Begins with a D, maybe. Come on, what's that guy's name? Dead in Denver. Uh, Desmond. Desmond. Denver? Desmond. Yeah, no, he uh, was uh, the gaming blend guy was saying that uh, it's game writers' fault because they were they were f f feeding into the hype machine constantly for years. Oh. And that and yeah and that we wouldn't. Does that he game, think there's game a hype writers, machine? That game writers weren't willing to break embargo <laughs> on the review to say that it's bad for the sake of consumers, which I found really funny because like if you were on Twitter in the week before that game came out, like every writer who was reviewing it was like, without saying that it was shit, was like trying to tell people like, you know, maybe before yeah. you buy this, you should wait for reviews. Oh. Um, there's a yeah, I you know like there's there's and, always been ways around that shit, and. I, I I understand like uh, that it's not really a fair defense to always say like you should be totally tapped into like the like game preview like the that game development and stuff for every game that comes out. But Aliens Colonial Marines had been like canceled and revived twice and had been in development for like seven and a half years. Like yeah. it got to yeah. the point where I was and practically dry heaving every time someone said the title. Like I didn't need a review to tell me the game was bad. And if you're going to if you're gonna buy like buy a video game and you're not tapped into that whole gaming thing, why are you pre ordering a game you don't know anything about? Why are yeah. you pre ordering a game at all? You should wait until you should wait until somebody tells you whether it's good or bad first. Xenomorphs. Also, as somebody pointed out, like I the devs are, are I mean, first of all, the, the dev situation was like really crazy and split up and all over the place, which we found out later, right? But but most people like Gearbox for like Borderlands and Borderlands 2, a few people are down with, uh, what's their military shooter? Called, they did uh, make Opposing Force. I should be able to use um, it's uh, Brothers in Arms? Brothers in Arms, right. Yeah. But like, a lot of people also don't like Brothers in Arms. A lot of people didn't like Duke Nukem Forever. So I, I think it really <laughs> Almost helped. nobody likes Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> Basically no but people. But that, that wasn't really their fault. And then, and then, I mean, there's yeah. other stuff. No, no, no. Uh, but it's a similar situation. That it, was a, it was a project that was, held, that was in development forever. Was, right? Ever like, ever, yeah. But there's, like, uh, so this is the thing a lot of people, like, Borderlands has definitely caused a lot of people to forget that they've worked on a lot of bad yeah. bad games. Like, yeah. They yeah. did, uh, Including uh, Kyle, Borderlands 2. Oh, oh. Jokes. Kyle, Kyle was saying, um, that they did the opposing force. I think that's what you were saying, Kyle. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they did the two Half Life One expansions. Yeah. So Half Life, Opposing Force, and Blue Shift. Both of those were pretty okay, if not up to Half Life levels. But then I think Opposing Forces, Opposing Force was uh, amazing. I, I like Blue Opposing Shift's... Force a lot. Right. It was thirteen years ago. But also, amazing, uh, amazing is a stretch. Sorry. It, know, it was very good. Gearbox also developed uh, Half Life Decay. Which was the oh. PS2 co-op campaign for Half Life? <laughs> that is what was really, that? really shitty. Oh, that's a shame. I've also, Blue Shift, that. which was pretty shitty. <sighs> yeah, I think I think it just reminded people that like, yeah, like Ge Gearbox is not like. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know. I'll work on your laptop. I suppose it's not particularly easy to have integrity as a game developer of like we're only going to put out games that are great. But I mean, like bad, bad games happen. That's that's understandable. It's yeah, just, we're playing Lost right, via yeah. Domus. <laughs> but, Domus. I mean, Listen, like guys. Gearbox put their name on on Duke Nukem Forever and had like Randy Pitchford like come out and do like promo videos like we're putting out duke nukem forever you guys and then like look at what there that was like I, was. I remember some of the quotes around that he had said stuff along the lines of like uh you can't be a true gamer and not play duke nukem forever because it's oh. duke nukem forever and 
Uh, that's, I think he said something along the lines way, of like, it's at, kind of true. Kind of. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I feel like for for a couple of years it was Randy Pittsford's job to lie to people that Duke Nukem Forever was going to be good <laughs> so that they could make another Duke Nukem game. It was really only a year. It was that it, they yeah, had it. Was it. Like six, um, okay, so yeah, so a year. But Basically, like, he, even, was, he even had worry. like a crazy quote where he was saying like, like any any game reviewer who gives it a score below, like, I don't know if he said like below a seven or something is like lying or being irresponsible f- or something like that. He fit he fit two years of lies into that single year of lying, though. Yeah, it was really he, yeah, good he, work. It was really sure lied in. Quote of seven wasn't from George Broussard? Uh, I'm not sure. You should you should look that up. I might be... I don't want to misquote Randy Pitchford. That, sound, that's, that sounds that like sounds a like George B. For sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. And, but, but then again, so does the thing about, uh, like, you, you wouldn't be a true gamer if you didn't play it. Yeah. So... Uh, but yeah, so for for basically, and that's that's their plan, right? To make another Duke Nukem, but make the whole thing. I mean, they they talked about that. There's no, there's yeah. definitely not been anything officially right. announced. At well, this assuming point. that that's what they're doing, like it, like that was his job was to 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 say to people that this game was going to be great, so that they could have a chance to make an actually good Duke Nukem game. Maybe. I don't know. I be. because now now I, I've also seen like after Aliens Colonial Marines came out they kind of showed a lot of interview clips of Randy Pitchford basically doing the exact same thing he did for Duke Nukem Forever just like this game's gonna be fucking amazing and and, just and like, I didn't even right. realize it was Gearbox until about twenty minutes ago again yeah. to give to give it's same thing. To give Randy Pitchford some credit, um, you know, I'm sure to some degree he fully, he fully believed that they were going to make it work before they were done with it. Yeah. Even if it wasn't there yet. Yeah. Right. But it's, it's at some point he had to stop believing that and forever re- and because that game was never going to be good. Yeah. Not much. I don't know, Pete. Like I saw, I saw some side by side of a of a, like a playable demo that looked all right. Was that whole that was that whole thing faked? No, I mean like. What? The the playable demo from the best I can tell is that it was like an early super optimized version that they just never got actually working. Yeah, yeah. I mean Not if that, any, that like, version of the game went through, then that game could have been all right. 